We are going to Mombasa by train. The train is super clean and comfortable and we catched it in the last minute. And we are told that we have a chance to see giraffes and elephants in the way. We are trying to see animals here. I just saw elephants and zebras for the first time. I'm so excited. and we are in a van going toward our next host which is in the Ani beach. Now we are going into a ferry to pass the water. Our second stop in Kenya for volunteering job, the Ani beach Mombasa. We are here in a hostel that has three houses and Sia is going to make a video for them to advertise their hostel. You can see that video after this video. Here they gave us free accommodation like this tree house which is very comfortable but not food. Food is on our own costs. And uh, the, here there are lots of monkeys and bush babies and we can feed them and you will see them in the video as well. And here is so close to the Indian Ocean, just five minutes by walking and we are enjoying being here. Indian Ocean, our first time to see an ocean. It's beautiful, the beach is white and nice. Here is Diani Beach. As many Kenyans say, it's the best beach in Kenya. Many locals and many tourists from different parts of the world are here. So you are actually not living here. You live in Maasai and sometimes come here to yeah, Diani Beach. We are coming here just to promote our family for two months or three months, depending mm -hmm. how, because also we are dancing in hotel. Yeah. And then we all families there. Oh, yeah, family's there. I have my there. family there. Mm -hmm. So sometimes two months or three months, mm -hmm. then you go to the family. Mm -hmm, I yeah, see. But mostly when it's raining season, like now, because now it's, uh, we are going to raining season. Yeah, I know, so, the long rain. Yes, so we are going to stay there for quite a long time, mm -hmm. for maybe four months or five months, mm -hmm. until the end of August. And what do you do? You sell things here? Yeah, yeah we, we sell things, other they are selling things and other they are making like Ascari, walking mm -hmm. in the garden in the night mm -hmm. and, as, and other they are making dances in the hotel. So they mm -hmm. get paid and then this is like, it's a kind of job that the people that, which are, they are not educated. Mm -hmm. Because if you are educated, you get a good chance. Mm -hmm. But if you are not educated, you can just work as a Ascari or a guard. And what do you do back in Maasai land? Maasai land, I'm going to take care of my cows. I have cows and sheep mm -hmm. and my children. I have three children. Nice. Yeah, I have uh, two daughters and one son. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one is going to school. I want to educate them because that's why I don't have a job. I say, oh, because I'm not educated. So I have mm -hmm. to put my children in school. Yeah, do they go to school now? Yeah, one is going to school now. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. So, is it life difficult here for you? Yes, here is more difficult than there. Mm -hmm. Because here, you know, there we have milk and we have, you don't pay for the rent, but there is more easier. Mm -hmm. we, you know, we, there is no, see, we don't live in the town there. I think if you are going to Masai Mara, is, you have to go to very far away from here, like to Mombasa, to mm -hmm. find a town mm -hmm. called Narok. Oh, yeah. Yes. I see. And in Masai Mara, do you, uh, uh, take people to safaris or no? This is not your job. Yeah, this is uh, actually it's not my job, but people they are like my young brother is staying there. He's not coming here. Mm -hmm. He's working in the lodge. So mm -hmm. he's taking, he's going to waiting people. These are going from the aeroplane to mm -hmm. Masai Mara and then he's going to show to safari there also. I think um, it's a very common job because yeah. there are lots of safari tours there in Masai Mara. Yes, a lot of, yeah, a lot yeah. of, because most of them, they are not uh, unemployed, so they are depending on this, so there is so many there, because this is, it's not, um, uh, it's only Maasai land. So mm -hmm. here you find many different tribes, yeah. but there is only one tribe. Just Maasai. Just Maasai. 
-hmm. Just maybe people, they are manager, they are working in hotel, they mm -hmm. are just there for the job. Otherwise, it's a Maasai land there. And what does the uh, life look like ba back in Maasai tribe? Is it like tribes or it's a modern life? Yeah, this is a tribe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is For a example, tribe. you have a head of tribe yes. that controls everything. Yeah, we have our chief. Like, uh, like we live like a big family, uh, big villages here. Mm -hmm. Like villages, you can find like three villages and uh, three, and they have one one chief who is controlling everything. Mm -hmm. If somebody did something wrong, they have to go to tell him, and he will tell him what to do, how to mm -hmm. punish him. There are punishments? Yeah, the punishment. What are the punishments, for example? Yeah, the, Sending out? Someone. The punishment that they can get, uh, they can pay for uh, one cow. Mm -hmm. It depends which, uh, what bad he, he did. Mm -hmm. It depends on that. But and yeah. what is very famous for Maasai people is, uh, I don't know how they decorate themselves, like they put something around their neck, like mm -hmm. women, or they put something in their on their lip. I yeah. don't know. I have never been there. Is it like something real or just media shows us? Yeah, this is not. A, we have some other people. They are they put something in their lip, but these are not Maasai. This is Mutsi. They are from Sudan. Only Maasai they can just uh, remove a, a teeth, two teeth here. Really? So to see that this is a Maasai, and some if you don't go to school, you can make for the ear to make mm -hmm. it longer long for just decoration mm -hmm. so when you are going to jumping the ladies they will like you <laughs> so yes. just for it's fun it's not true about maasai people what so it's not true about maasai people because most of people think that maasai people decorate themselves like that but it's not yeah like but that. this is uh, this is from long long time ago this yeah. is uh, decorated because uh, from many many years ago this is belong like this uh, belong to maasai culture there's mm -hmm. no other people they have. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like there we have like a big spear like this mm -hmm. for the hunting lion. Because a Maasai man, if you want to marry the young generation, they must to kill a lion. Wow, really? So, yes. Yeah, so you have like a big spear like this. But Did you kill a lion? Long, yes. But this is long now. I have you know, 40 years. So this is like nearly... Interesting. So if yeah, you want to... <laughs> 12 years ago. Attract so the girl's must, daddy. What? <laughs> if you want to attract the girls yeah. that you love, <laughs> yes, you should kill a lion. You can kill a lion and now you are allowed to marry. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And if you are married and then you have to shave your hair, so now you are ordinary man. You are not a warrior anymore. So to be a warrior is just from 17 years to 22. Mm -hmm. And then another young generation come grown up. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how is the marriage in Maasai? Just you marry with Maasai people, a Maasai boy has to marry with a Maasai girl? Yeah, okay. mostly it's like uh, to marry Maasai, Maasai, uh, Maasai to Maasai. Mm -hmm. Because they have some traditional they do. Mm -hmm. They have to, to pay a woman. It's not for free. But you can say like three cows. Three cows. Or, or four cows. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it's some, given to the girl's family. Yeah, the girl family. So the father of my my father and the girl family they negotiate together, mm -hmm. and then they make a big ceremony. Nice. And then to go to take a girl to your family, so this could be more more big party. Mm -hmm. Yes, big nice. ceremony. Interesting. So are you happy living in Maasai tribe? Yes, very happy. Mm -hmm. Because it's my tribe, I've grown up there, and very What about happy. your kids? Are they happy living in Maasai land? Yes, yes. Only the, for the children now, if they're going to school, because now we have another system. Because for the Maasai, if you are 17 years, you must be... No, from 16, mm -hmm. 15, you must be circumcised. But now, it's not allowed for the ladies, only for the men now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because some, they can be arrested now. The government stopped it from like five years ago. Mm -hmm. no. But for the men, it's okay. So Must do. I'm happy we are going to see them. So if we go to Maasai Mara, mm -hmm. we'll see Maasai people, yeah? Yeah. All so the people there are Maasai? All people. This is Maasai land. Or only maybe some people, they are working in the hotel. Mm -hmm. They are from... 
they are from other tribe, but they are, they are there because of work, mm -hmm. just for a short time, and then they go to their family, where they come from. Mm -hmm. The Yana Beach has lots of restaurants, bars and cafes, and we have tried three of them. Most of them are good and have a good atmosphere and the food is good. We have two sandwiches now, chicken sandwich and a steak sandwich. Both uh, together costed uh, 1,000 shilling, which is about $10. So this is our beautiful party tonight at Backpackers. And goodbye for now, but please join us for other videos as well. Thank <laughs> you.